Hello, and welcome to Wheels Wheels. You know, it's still the winter months here in Kansas City. It's actually 38 degrees outside, and I am tired of my vehicles being covered in road grime and salt. And it's just, well, it's too cold for even me, who loves to detail my car, to actually get out, break out a wash bucket, get wet, wash the car. So I, uh, I found a product. It's called Wash Chems Pro 50. Now this is an alkaline-based car soap. It is not a pH neutral soap. This stuff is serious business. It's designed to remove basically everything. You just place it on your car, follow the instructions, wash it off. It's supposed to be completely touchless. Basically all you have to do after you wash it is dry it and you're done. Now this is not the type of thing that I would use in the summer months because it actually recommends that you do not use it on hot panels and you do not let it dry on hot panels. I imagine it would cause some staining. So that you do not want it to dry. Get it on the car, wait the two minutes, get it off. Now this stuff is designed and perfectly and formulated to work primarily with a foam cannon. However, you can use it with a pump sprayer. You can also use it with a spray trigger bottle. Now, when I was reading on Amazon last night, or the other night, it did say that it was safe for vinyl wraps and ceramic coats, because both of my vehicles have a graphene coating on them. And I, didn't, I never wanted to use such a strong detergent on it before, because I just didn't think it would be safe for that. But I called the company, because Amazon stated that you could, but it does not state anywhere in the instructions that you can put, place this on a vinyl wrap or a ceramic coat. So when I reached out to the company, they said, yeah, you can do that for sure. So I'm like, two thumbs up, let's give it a try. So let me get this mixed up. I uh, think, I, did I mention this? I am going to be using eight ounces of the product with 22 ounces of water. That's the recommended blend ratio. And uh, we'll get the car sprayed off, mix up, put it in our phone can, and go around the car and see how it works. But first, I want to walk you around the car and show you just how bad it is. Hang on. Okay, we'll get some close-ups here. This car has lots and lots of road debris and road grit and everything on it. So look at this. And we're gonna see how this works. Of course, the back of these SUVs just get hammered. I would never touch the paint and do this, but you know, we can hear all that dirt and grime. The car is covered in it. It's just stuck to the car. All right, let's get it uh, rinsed off and mix up our foam cannon. Now, I guess I'm gonna have to postpone this video, but you know I've got it coming because I'm out here trying to wash the vehicle and it's trying to get it rinsed off. And uh, well, it's so cold, there's ice forming on the vehicle and there's also ice forming on the driveway as I wash. But you know what? I'm gonna wash it anyway. So if I slip and fall, I guess it'll be for your entertainment. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna pour eight ounces of this product. Into our Trinova foam cannon. We will put the lid on. So he says, give it a little shake, and we'll get started. Now I will say, this has gone from a product review just to having a little fun and see what this stuff can do in the cold weather, because I don't think it would be fair to the product itself for me just to, uh, to do this and it not work as well as it probably should if it was a, you know, the weather was a little nicer and the temperature was a little warmer.
Now this stuff does produce good foam, even in a non-gas powered pressure washer. Now we're gonna let it stay on there for the two minutes and then uh, we'll rinse it off and I'll continue to walk like a penguin so I don't fall on this ice. This is funny. It's stuck to the ice. Hope that's coming through on camera. It's gonna take me a little bit to get this stuff washed off the car. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to time lapse that because that took about 15 minutes to wash that off the car because it was frozen to the car. But this stuff is really good. I gotta take you in close and show you what I'm talking about. And I gotta step real gingerly because I made an ice rink out of it. Look, there's no dirt. It's, it's clean. It's just clean now. The barrels of the wheels, I mean, it's not perfect, but it definitely got everything clean. Let me, well, hang on. It got these nasty real quarter panels clean. The same thing with the back of the car. I can't step around there because my driveway sloped and I'll slip and fall, but trust me, it's clean. You know, when we started this, I said, I think I said it was 38 degrees. It's, uh, it's actually only uh, 32. That would explain why I was, uh, <laughs> why it was freezing on the car and the water was freezing on the car. My driveway looks like an ice rink. But anyway, this Washcam Pro 50, it does a great job. I mean, I couldn't believe it even cleaned the barrels of the wheels. Now, is it detailed the way I would detail mine in the summer? Oh gosh, no, it is nowhere near that. But it is clean. It removed all the salt, the residue, the road grime, the dirt, all that's off the car, which is what I'm primarily concerned with because I don't want to take my car to a car wash. Take it to a car wash in the summer months and brushes beat up against it. You know, I worked really hard, you know, putting those ceramic, graphene ceramic coats on the car and I, uh, I don't want to take it to a car wash. With all that being said, I highly recommend the product. I will use it when it's about 40 or 50 degrees outside from now on and not it's 32 so I don't have those issues there. But anyway, please remember to like, share, comment, hit that subscribe button down there for me. I really appreciate that. And as always, hang loose, keep shiny side up. Thanks.